Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about things that programmers do outside of coding slash work that makes us better developers or make us, makes us better at coding. So let's get into it. So yeah, that is pretty much the question in question. What do you do or what do programmers do that isn't coding that makes them better at coding? Well, uh, I will just start us off by saying something that I think is very important because these, that this sort of question is, uh, there is a category of people that sometimes have this, like, it's hard to pinpoint exactly why this is, but I think it's a combination, a very complex combination of insecurity and trying to procrastinate and avoid doing the thing that is going to to really help them it's uh, similar to, like i've seen it many times where someone will you know they want to start coding or they want to start doing something and then they kind of do that a little bit but then they also want to find okay they have this idea that there are other things apart from this thing that they could be doing that will make them good at this thing uh, one that I've seen many times is that some people feel like they're not so good at so like their English isn't up to scratch, right? And English is absolutely something that is very relevant when you're doing coding. So they kind of go, well, I'm focusing on my English now, so I will be, be better at my coding. Now, this is kind of, yeah, I, there is a validity to it in a sense. It's some, similar to how a, an athlete might have like a, a complementary, a complementary uh, sport that they practice just to get better at their main focus. But we have to bring it back to guys. I think that focusing on the thing that you're trying to be good at is the thing that is going to make you good at it. Primarily, you can absolutely uh, have compliments, but don't let yourself fall into that trap that you dilute focus from the thing that you're actually trying to do. Like instead, try to really ask yourself, why am I avoiding this? Or why am I, do I feel the need to not just focus on this thing? The answer to that should be that you feel that, oh yeah, I'm already putting so much energy to this that I feel like I'm stagnating a little bit and I think I need a few new perspective. I want to get a new perspective or I want to diversify a little bit. That should be the answer. It should not be, if you're honest with yourself, that, yeah, I'm just kind of scared of failing or I'm scared of something or things of this nature. It's, uh, it's something that I see that is very common. But if you are going to look for something that isn't strictly code related, and this is me saying it, I'm already assuming that you're already spending the bulk of your time coding because that is what's going to make you good at it. But apart from that, I highly recommend that you take care of yourself. Make sure that you have, I mean, you, you treat your brain as just any other muscle. In other words, make sure that you relax and make sure that you exercise. Anything that can give you a stronger, like a, a more, like a, a better muscle, if you will, if you maintain your muscle, the better it's going to perform pretty much. These are basic tips that I think that everybody should follow regardless of if you're a programmer or not. Take care of yourself. Uh, just bottom line, make sure that you relax and make sure that you exercise correctly. So apart from that, uh, what you, at least what I do and something that I know quite a lot of people swear by and it's not just programmers, is that you read just in general. Read things about things that you are interested in because anything that you can read about or hear from other people or listen to different thought leaders or people of influence and so forth, uh, creative people just get inspired by them because that is exactly what programming thrives on programming is uh, i've said this many times that's and this is why i don't really care so much what programming language you, i use when i work programming is a, a is a tool programming and the ability to code is a tool but what's going to make or make you like what's going to matter is what you do with that tool. It doesn't matter if you're the best coder in the world, if you don't have a vision or a project or something that you want to actually achieve. And you get that sort of stimulation and all these ideas, these entrepreneurs of the world that you've heard about that made it for far in IT. They are not just, I mean, they, they may know how to code, but what truly sets them apart is not necessarily their ability to write software. There might be tons of people who are better at that than what they are, 
but it was the vision, the idea, the thing that they did with their coding skills that made the difference. It's the thing that's going, like, and that's, that's true even if you're not interested in becoming some Steve Jobs, Bill Gates type of figure or whoever, right? It doesn't, the, the, even just the process of stimulating your mind with different ideas and being open-minded enough to take in different um, perspectives on things, it's going, to, it's going to expand the way that you think. It's similar to traveling, if you will. It's similar to learning a second, second language. It expands your mind to be able to look uh, from, at something from more than one perspective. And you gain a lot of that pretty much just through reading. Reading things that, makes you, uh, that you are interested in. So that's what I'm going to state as the second thing. And third and lastly, I will say that social interactions and honing your ability to express yourself and building up your confidence when it comes to communication and soft skills, if you will. It's also something that is outside of your work, but it's going to help you immensely in programming because what you will realize very quickly when you work in software development is that you often have issues with being allowed to do the right thing. Now that sounds a bit harsh and it sounds a bit cynical, but it is true. So you have to understand that one of the primary things that you do when you work as a software developer is that you are allowing somebody else to not have your understanding of the technical aspects, right? You are the engineer, you are the person who knows how to build something. But you are often in a situation where you are cooperating or you have a manager or some sort of person that is not a technical person, that don't have this understanding of what, why we need to do this instead of that and why we need to delay this shipment and why we need to do these like different way offs, right? They don't know that. And the better that you get at being able to effectively communicate your ideas not only to your coworkers, but to your customers, to your stakeholders, that you will meet more success within software development by that process. Because one of the things that I can promise you is that if you are some type of introvert type of character where you really don't have, you're not, you're not very good at playing nice with people or inspire them or make them understand your viewpoint, you will struggle more unless you're like the owner of the company or a founder of the company, you will struggle very much so to get people to get on board with you. And you may at small scale be able to just do everything yourself, but you will get to a point just as any person who starts a company who wants to expand something or grow something, you will get to a point where you only have so much time in a day. You need other people to help you deliver on that vision that you have. And your ability to socialize and your ability to move people and cater to all of these silly little needs that we humans have socially is going to be very important for your ability to actually deliver on that vision. So I will argue that that is something that is very important, that it is not directly work related. So making sure that you have a healthy group of friends, making sure that if you have anxieties regarding talking in front of people and addressing these sorts of things, is going to be immensely useful. I mean, hell, start a YouTube channel and just talk about your experiences going through programming. If you go back and look at my first video, couple of videos, and the way that I speak now, I hope we can, you will notice that there is quite a bit of difference in the way that I speak and the way that I behave on this little camera of mine. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. It's these are the sorts of things that will help you quite a lot when it comes to just being able to make people go in the direction that you want them to go. So what I want you to take away from this is basically that if you're looking to improve your coding skills outside of work or outside of coding, I will first and foremost push you and say really ask yourself what you're doing so that you're honestly making sure that you're already investing quite hefty, uh, quite heavily in the coding itself because it is the thing that is going to make you good or bad just in general. But if you are already doing that and you want to diversify a little bit and you want to try something new, make sure that you know, you're exercising correctly, you know, make sure that that muscle that you make your money from or that gets all these nice ideas is in good health. 
So relax when you like, don't stress, don't like try to occupy every single little second of the day with something, just sit down, relax and exercise, make sure that you're eating correctly, all that good stuff. Apart from that, make sure that you read, get exposed to different ideas, have different viewpoints on things and look at things that may have nothing to do with coding, but it just fascinates you for some unknown reason. It can be anything. Just get exposed to different things throughout this world because creative thought is what you thrive on. It is the thing that is, that's the whole purpose of programming. Coding is just the delivery system of vision and innovation. And the last thing is work on your social skills, hang out with friends, learn how to speak. We do public speaking, practice public speaking, anything like that, anything that can give you a deeper understanding of uh, and a bigger empathy for other people and uh, the and give getting that ability to well charisma if you will to have charisma to understand how it works understand all of these things these things will make a big difference when you're interacting with people which is quite a lot of what you do when you're working in software development have a great day